Today in the news, AMD's GPUs are about to get a second life in fall, PSVR 2 is all I ever wanted, and Intel's chips got some boost. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD, or actually get started with Yuri, aka Wanusmus. He's the creator of the uh, Ryzen Clock Tuner utility, or CTR, the Hydra utility, and of course the Ryzen DRAM calculator. Other things too, but these are the main ones that I know. So why am I talking about this? Well, he's working on a utility for RDNA 2 and up GPUs, and it looks really promising. It's part of Hydra, and it's called the Radeon Monster Profiles, and it will basically be a bunch of presets that he made that make use of some unique settings and a new volt frequency curve. With this utility, he says that an RDNA 2 based RX 6800X3D can go beyond 3090 Ti levels of performance. So that means that in rastered performance specifically, we could see it potentially trade blows or even beat a freaking RTX 4070, sorry. 408012 gig. I say this because in Nvidia's own charts, the 408012 gig seems to struggle against the 3090 Ti in non ray traced games. Look here, for example, in RE Village and Assassin's Creed's Valhalla. So, how much more performance? Well, let's take a look at his chart. He tested it in 3D Mark's Time Spy, and the stock 6800 XT had a score of 19,336 points. There are two Radeon Monster profiles tested here, and this one is the 305. It's called that because it brings the TDP from 255 to 305 watts. Now in that one, he says that he got 21,443 points in the graphics score. That's an increase of almost 11% in performance. With the higher profile, so profile 370, the 6800 XT scores 21,930 points. So an increase of just over 13%. That's just a little higher than a stock 3090 Ti and it does that with much lower power at 370 watts rather than the 450 watts of the 3090 Ti. Now, of course, this is a synthetic benchmark, but for a GPU that's now two years old, it's a damn good performance increase. Plus, this is the 6800 XT, not the 6900 XT, not the 6950 XT. Yuri says that the Radeon Monster profiles are set to drop in fall of this year, and they should work with all Navi 21 GPUs. So the 6800 and up. No words on the 6700 series and below, at least for now. As for the 7000 series of GPUs, well, he says that he hopes it will be compatible, probably because, well, it leverages unique properties of Ryzen 6000. The 6800 XT can be had for about 580 bucks right now on Newegg, and it will probably be lower once the 7000 series hit the shelves. So this might give that lineup a second life. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Moving on, we got Sony in the news. Five days ago, the company revealed their PSVR 2. And honestly, I wasn't expecting much, but I just watched the trailer, and honestly, I can't believe how insane it is and how I missed it. All of the technologies that I want in a headset are literally there, and they were pretty much essential for the life expectancy of a PSVR headset, which is the same as the PS5, I'm guessing. The big feature, in my opinion, is the eye tracking. It allows Sony to include foveated rendering which basically makes the area you're looking at the focus. This should free up some resources since the rest of the image is rendered at a slightly lower resolution. Plus, things like menus become easier to interact with since you just have to look at it. The controllers also have the adaptive triggers like in the PS5 controllers, and it has a 4K HDR display, a wide 110 degrees field of view, and the headset even has physical feedback. I mean, I love my Oculus Quest 2, but this is the GOAT. Sucks that I don't have a PS5. I mean, I would have snatched this the moment of release. Lastly, we got Intel in the news. A Polish retailer mistakenly posted a promo video for Intel's upcoming Raptor Lake CPUs, specifically the 13900K. And in that video, we got the confirmation that the highest end model, well, it has a max turbo of 5.8 gigahertz. Now, naturally, this will probably be the boost speed of uh, only two cores, but yeah. 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, in a couple of hours, Intel's gonna reveal everything, so I'll just uh, wait till then. I'm probably gonna stream it, so stay tuned. 
Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. I mean, the 6800 XT thing and the PSVR 2 just blew my mind today. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.